Welcome to a special edition of Blue View. I'm Debbie Seely, and we are at the Blue Devils' 50th anniversary banquet, just one night before DCI West. Let's go around the room and meet some of the folks. What would you say your favorite Blue Devils memory was? Uh, finals in 1976. And why was that so special for you? Well, we won. We won. What is your favorite memory of the Blue Devils? Uh, probably 1984 finals in Atlanta, Georgia. We had a really great show. It was like lighter than air. It was just a magical feeling. What's your name? Uh, Wayne Downey. And why are you here tonight, Wayne? I am here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Conquer Blue Devils Drum and Bugle Corps. How long have you been with the Blue Devils? Way too long. <laughs> I would still be marching if there was no age limit. And I turned 60 tonight at midnight, so... Uh, I would I, I would like to see the age barriers come down and let us all march until we drop. And what do you like best about the Blue Devils? The drums. Are you a drummer? Um, I play my drums at home. Is it fun? Yeah. Do you think you want to be in the Blue Devils someday? Yeah. How old are you? Eight. And when were you a drum major for the Blue Devils? Uh, 1983. What was the hardest thing about being a drum major? I guess the hardest thing would be uh, being the mediator between the kids and the instructors and uh, trying to make uh, please both sides. Staying in step was really the hardest thing. Spoken like a true vanguard drum major, which he was. <laughs> Do you feel like it's more challenging today than it was when you marched? Definitely. They're doing more complex and technical drills and the performing and the horn lines. They're fantastic from what we were 30 years ago. but. Um, it's all it's a good a healthy activity in terms of almost a, a sport that's done there it takes you have to be in incredibly good condition to do this so Earlier today, the a -Corps had their studio recording session with Frank Doherty. Let's take a look and see how the core and Frank create beautiful music together. Recording drum corps in multi-track got started in 1980 when we recorded the uh, Blue Devils and the Santa Clara Vanguard together at the Concord Pavilion. And that, to my knowledge, was the first multi-track drum corps recording. And it sounded so good that uh, we simply wanted to continue to record state-of-the-art style recordings uh, with drum corps. Uh, from that time forward. Uh, the next opportunity I, I got to do that was in 2000 when uh, the uh, Vanguard and the Blue Devils, oddly enough, were co-champions of DCI and we thought, isn't this a great time to do it again? Only this time we had the uh, technology from 20 years hence and so at that point we could do it in surround sound. And of course we have DVDs now which uh, can accommodate surround sound. People have home theaters and this is probably the uh, next best thing to actually being uh, there live during a performance because you can uh, capture some of the ambience and some of the intensity that's uh, otherwise uh, uh, not available. So uh, every year we try to do this and try to take it to the, to the next level. You know, people look at a, a drum corps like the Blue Devils and they think, oh, they've just always been wonderful. Well, what you have to understand is that they started like everyone else did. You know, there was a time when they were a bunch of little kids walking down the street at the fireman's parade, uh, trying to stay in step and, you know, missing every other note in St. Louis Blues playing on the glockenspiel. So this has been a progression. 
So I would like this recording to represent uh, where they have come over that period of time and how, how, uh, how, how wonderful the music has become, how brilliant the performances uh, have become, so that they have a document to look back on and other people have a document to look at uh, in years to come to say, look what can be accomplished uh, if you have a plan and work your plan over, over this period of time and you keep your standards high. The idea is to give people the sense that they in fact stood in the center between the horn line and the drum line. And that is the one place that the fan never gets to go. As a matter of fact, even the players never hear that sound. Only a couple of instructors hear that sound. So it's, that's what, what we were trying to do and trying to make it as special as that, only it happens for you in your living room. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're here with David Gibbs, director of the Blue Devils. Dave, the Blue Devils have an impressive 50-year history. How special is it to be a part of that? Well, it's great. We, uh, we're here at the 50-year anniversary party, and I'm just blessed to be a part of something that a lot of people have worked very hard to create. And uh, I just feel like I'm a torchbearer. Uh, I just feel lucky that I'm in position here at the 50-year anniversary, and just extremely proud uh, from the kids, to the staff, to the volunteers, to the donors, to all the people that came before us, and a special thankful to the Odella family, uh, the Seawright family, and all the incredible people that made the Blue Devils what they are today. And where do you see the Blue Devils going in the future? Oh boy, you know, I, I really see the core just continue to evolve. Um, who knows, but one thing we have going for us is an incredible staff and a staff that pushes me, and it's always a joy to watch, and I'm in awe of. So, guarantee is, it'll be fun, it'll be exciting, and it should set standards for the next 50 years. Great, well, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. That wraps up our special edition of Blue View. To everyone out there, enjoy the show. Bye.